since the uh, demonstrations by the Gen Cs, uh, and members of parliament are a little bit more conscious in terms of the decisions that they, they are making. And I will really uh, not trust that the members of parliament are going to behave the way they behave probably during the first vetting or even during the finance bill 2024. I think the members of parliament are a little bit keen in terms of what they're supposed to do, uh, despite the fact that there is a party position. Uh, one thing that I really want to say is that, uh, uh, like what Betty has said, uh, the president did not sack these people uh, based on their incompetence. Let us be sincere to this, because I have not seen any of them that has been sacked because of incompetence. Of course, there is the liturgy and there is the complaints of uh, the performance of some of them. And uh, what the agencies went to the streets, they actually say they want a complete reset, reset of all of them. But that does not mean that they are no good members of the cabinet that were there. You can also hear from the agencies themselves, even when they said, get all of them out, there were some voices that were saying, so and so was a little bit better, so and so could come back. So even within the old the agencies themselves, they had preferences like we have ensured that the president get all these people out, but we will have preferred that he retain so and so and so. So for me, I'll say the executive, by the constitution, the president has been given the mandate to choose members of the cabinet. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that the president has decided to bring back these people is still within his mandate. He has not done anything that is extra his mandate. So we will allow him as the president to give us back the people that he believes uh, can perform for this country. And I'll say the agencies gave the president a very good uh, breathing opportunity because even at the point when the president said some of his cabinet were incompetent, he probably was held captive by either the party, the promises that he's done to these people before, the communities that they represent. Do you so feel he has freed, he has money to free has, himself from that he right he now? Has, he has, he has actually freed himself from this. And I say the agencies gave him that lime, the, 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 the breathing space which he has used now to be able to get off some of the people that he probably wanted to get off um, through the normal ways, which, which never worked. So the agencies gave him the clean check to do it. So the fact that he's brought 10 out of the 20, Mm -hmm. The 24, uh, the, the, 20, the 22, yeah? 22. The, the fact that he's brought 10 out of the 22 basically tells you that he's gotten off half of the hook. So probably those are the people that he wanted to remove. Probably those are the people that he said are not able to understand their ministries. Probably mm -hmm. these are the people that he believe were not able to perform. So let's give him the chance mm -hmm. again. And I would not say let's give him the skunk like uh, another member of parliament used that before. Let's give him back the people that he believes can work for this government. But let me tell you, the agencies have done a very good work. And I would want to appreciate the agencies because if you look at the nominees, some of the information that we did know about these nominees are actually out. And the agencies are saying, listen, parliament, when you go to vet, uh, Minister X, Y and Z, these are their profiles, these are their past sins. Please look at them. And I don't think the members of parliament will ignore that. Mm -hmm. If agency was able to go back to probably 10 years ago, they were young, but uh, probably because of history and what they have gotten, they have been able to say this minister 10 years ago was found in an, an, an appropriate act, mm -hmm. was found culpable of this. Please consider that when you are doing your, your, your vetting. And again, it's not all about the members of parliament. It's also about the members of public. Already, there is a notice out for members of public to give their memorandums. Mm -hmm. So everybody in this country is going to participate in terms of accepting or not accepting these members of parliament, of these members of cabinet. So I will also urge the members of public not just to throw everything to the members of parliament. Mm -hmm. They also have a time now to be able to give their memorandums and also tell us some of the scenes that people have created. If there's a scene that you know as an individual